Moving on to the 16th topic, it is on conditional probabilities. Conditional probabilities, as the name states, is a pro finding the probability provided there's a certain condition. There are some conditions applied to it. Now let's look at this problem. Th there, are, there is a set formula to solve it, but let's still understand this problem properly. The Spanish club is having a potluck lunch where each student brings in a cultural dish. The 10 students randomly draw cards numbered with consecutive integers from 1 to 10. Students who draw odd numbers will bring main dishes, whereas the students who draw even numbers will bring deserts. If Cynthia is bringing a desert, what is the probability that she drew the number 10? So there is there are 10 students in this club where all are, uh, you know, there are 10 chits with different numbers uh, from 1 to 10. No one knows which number. So 1 to 10 are there in that. And what they are doing is, you have to pick in random. If you get 1 or 3 or 5 or 7 or 9 or 9, these are all odd numbers, 1, 5, 7, 9, you will have to bring main dish, like a main course. Whereas if you get the even numbers, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, then you will have to bring a desert, like a sweet or something like that. So now, Cynthia is bringing a desert. So this has been told. So they have given us a condition. That means she is bringing a desert. So we will consider that condition as to be A. But what is the probability we have to find? What is the probability that she drew the number 10? So this is B basically. So now when we write the probability of conditional probability, it will be we need to find this condition provided A. This is like a conditional probability. The formula is very simple. We need to find the probability of A and B divide. Uh, let me just show you. A and B divided by probability of A. This is it. So probability of B condition A is probability of A and B divided by probability of A. So now what is the probability of A? That is the number is even because she got the desert, right? She has to bring the sweet. That means she has picked an even number. What is the probability she picked the even number? There are five even numbers and 10, total numbers of 10. So it's 50% or 1 by 2, 0 0.5. So this is the probability of A, P of A. So this is done. We got half. Now, how do we find probability of A and B? Now, A and B means what is the probability that this is even. What are the even numbers? 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. This is the first condition, A. And what is the number we want over here? And number 10 itself. What is the intersection of? One second, I'll just erase this. Now, this is all the even numbers. And what is the second condition? The number 10 must be picked. What is the... Uh, common over here it is only one number that is 10 so there's only one possibility that is only 10 can be possible out of all the outcomes out of the 10 outcomes so this is the probability of a and b so this is it so because it's very simple to understand she needs the number 10 that is a specific number only one number 10 is there out of 10 numbers so you have to just divide 1 by 10 divided by 1 by 2 when you solve it, you will get the answer. So there is a 20% chance that when she picked, she got the 10 number itself. So that is the thing. Now, similarly, you can solve the others. You can easily solve these others. See, the same formula over here, just the situations are different. Just look carefully, look carefully what has been asked. So your card is randomly drawn from a standard deck. Of 52 cards what is the probability that card is king of diamonds given that the card is drawn as a king so they have already told us see the card drawn is a king but what is the probability that card is king of diamonds this is the main thing so now let's see the condition which is already told to us what is the condition they have given us the card drawn 
is a king. They have told, given that. This means they have told us. So card drawn is a king. How many kings are there? Four divided by 52. So what is the probability of getting a king? It's 1 by 13. So remember, always the given condition will be divided by, see, this is 1 by 13. It's in the bottom. Now, up above, we need to know what is the probability of both can happen. How many uh, kings of diamonds are there? It's only one. So it is only one possibility out of 52. It's direct. You don't even need to do all this because you can directly understand that it is a king of diamond. That means it's 1 by 52 divided by this. That is 25% chance. So similarly, please go through all these problems. The same formula is used. Explanation is given over here. Make sure you solve it by yourself and then check for the answers. Um, even this over here, the same formula, same thing. Very straightforward. Please try solving all this by yourself so you will understand much better. Now let's... Uh, Think so there's a one problem which is different this is same again there's the same this one okay now we will just quickly try this one a school picnic offers because there are three parts this is one part and then there's two more parts let's see this 10th problem a school picnic offers students hamburgers hot dogs chips and a drink at the picnic 60 percent of the students order a hamburger and 48 students order a hamburger and chips. What is the conditional probability that students who order a hamburger also orders chips? So now, here, they have, uh, they have given us the condition. Who orders hamburger also orders chips. That means probability of A is, probability of A is student who orders hamburgers. That's it. See, which is the condition that is satisfied, which is given to us? That is, who orders hamburgers. So this is already told. Now, what do we have to find? Conditional probability that whoever ordered a hamburger already also will order a chip. That means the formula is probability of hamburger and, sorry, and chips. Okay? Probability of both of this divided by the probability of hamburger only. And both of these are given. So it's very easy. The, uh, how many students order a hamburger? It's 60%. So you can just write over here, divided by 60%. And how much students ordered hamburger and chips? That is also mentioned, it's 48%. That is all 0 0.48, 0 0.60. So all you need to do is uh, solve this up and you will get the answer. So over here, you can see they have used fractions now, probability of A by B is given to you. A by B is 48%. But 48% in fraction is 12 by 25. So that's why they have used this. You can use this as well. It's the same thing. You can try this. And over here, you can see they have written 3 by 5. Why? 60% is, uh, is the 3 by 5 in terms of fraction. And then you solve it, you'll get the answer. Now, the next part is again similar if 50 percent of the students ordered chips are the events of ordering a hamburger and ordering chips independent now what they are saying is if at all students 50 half of the students have ordered chips do you think the hamburger and chips whoever orders hamburger and chips are same no see over here the probabilities are different you can't mix them up the 50% students are ordering chips. That's a separate scenario. And this over here, uh, they're not, sorry, they're not independent. This is uh, what I'm trying to say is 50% students ordered chips. Okay. But other events of ordering hamburger and ordering chips independent? No, this cannot be because they are related to each other, isn't it? Hamburger and chips requires what is the data for this as well. So basically, what it says is no, because these two probabilities are dependent on each other. They're not separate. They're not exclusive. So they, they are in relationship. In this sense, whatever one does will affect the other. If this number changes, when you're solving for, you know, the uh, probability uh, chips and uh, hamburger conditional probability, the number changes. So that is the thing. 
any of this value. Now imagine, let's just go back over here. If this 48% of the students ordered hamburger and chips over here, this was changed, the answer would have changed. So that's, that's the concept over here. And last one over here, if 80% of the students who ordered a hot dog also ordered a drink and 35% of the all the students ordered a hot dog, find the probability that the student at the picnic orders a hot dog and drink. Now, over here, they have given us the condition already. See, 80% of the students who ordered a hot dog also ordered a drink. That means this is the condition, you know. See, probability of B of, see, let me just show it over here. See, the probability of drink and hot dog is already given, you know. See, the probability of whoever ordered a hot dog also ordered drink is already given to you. Conditional probability is given. And 35 of all students who ordered hot dog is also given. Probability of this. Now, you need to find and, that is, probability of drink and hot dog. We know from, see, look at this formula over here, probability of drink, provided the hot dog is, uh, you know, already satisfied, this condition is satisfied, is equal to probability of drink and, and hot dog, okay, divided by probability of only the below part, what is that? Hot dog. So the thing is, they have given us this and this. Sorry, no, this is what we need to solve. This is unknown. Probability of drink and hot dog is unknown, whereas this and this is given. So just take this to the other side and multiply these two. Let me write these values. So they have given uh, this to be 0 0.8. This is the probability, that is 80%. And over here, the probability of hot dog goes to the other side, multiplied 0 0.35. This would be the answer. If you multiply these, you'll get... 0 0.28 that is the probability of drink and a hot dog so this is how we solve it i know it is confusing in first time itself but just make sure you understand which conditions are satisfied understand what is being asked and what conditions are satisfied and there will be given uh, you know they will give you other information because you cannot apply this formula say for this formula you need given stuff so with the given uh, conditions, you can analyze and easily find it out. Generally, they may ask you such problems where you need to apply for condition probability. Just remember this formula and then you can easily solve them up. So please do solve all these problems and then check out your answers. So this is a bit of a lengthy topic, but it's very straightforward. You can see the explanation in this uh, presentation and then check your answers.